Hey guys, this is Hunter at Vapor Honing Technologies, and today we will be discussing vapor honing abrasives. There are many different abrasive types to choose from when it comes to vapor honing. First, we are going to start with glass beads. Glass beads are great for general cleaning and polishing of dirty parts, uh, for example, light buildup or dirt. This is because of the characteristics of glass beads. Uh, that means it's hollow, it's round, and it's just meant for touch-ups. Um, to pair with glass beads are ceramic beads. This is another type of media we commonly see in our wet blasting systems. Uh, ceramic beads are highly comparable to glass beads, but also vastly different. Ceramic beads have characteristics that consist of a harder, more aggressive media. Uh, this means it can tackle and handle a little bit more than glass beads can. It will also provide more of a satin finish over a polished finish and will last 30 times longer than glass beads will. Uh, with that also comes a cost factor. Ceramic beads are a lot more expensive due to the characteristics and how long it lasts. To be specific, it can be 14 times more in cost per pound than glass beads can. Next, we have aluminum oxide. This is another common abrasive used in vapor honing. Aluminum oxide is meant for the stripping of different components or contaminants from parts. For example, uh, tooling marks, burrs, uh, powder coat, and paint are just a few of, few of those examples um, that aluminum oxide can remove. The reason it is meant for this is because it's sharper, it's harder, and it's more aggressive. Aluminum oxide can also prep for future coatings, uh, but if you're still looking for a quality finish like the glass beads give off, because the aluminum oxide does provide more of a matte finish, uh, don't worry at all. A unique factor about this process that will save so much time and money is the fact that you can mix glass beads and aluminum oxide to create a mixture in your slurry. This will give you the characteristics of both medias, uh, meaning it will do both things at the same time without losing the quality of a like new finish. This mixture will even prep for paint, Cerakote, or anodized, to name just a few coatings. Uh, there are other medias you can use in a wet blast system, uh, like garnet and silicon carbide, which have their great qualities as well. Uh, but the few listed above are most common of what we see with our wet blasting systems. And to learn more about different types of medias and their characteristics, uh, please give me a call at 828-202-5563. My extension is 102. Or you can follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.